Hello everyone, I'm Bob Monahan, and on behalf of the entire J.D. Edwards Development Organization, I'm pleased to announce the general availability of our tools release, 9.2 Update 3. So there's some great capability regarding orchestrator, notifications, form extensibility, UD simplification, and some good certifications and platform level enhancements. So let me go through and give you some examples and some highlights. So let's start with orchestrator. Very powerful tool for enabling our customers on their journey to digital transformation. Up to now, many of our customers have been using Orchestrator for inputs to JD Edwards, whether that be for mobile or IoT or cloud, robotic process automation. But what if the automation needs to occur from within a JD Edwards application, whether that be an interactive app or a batch application? So now we've enabled a business function your developers can use to call from within an interactive app or a batch application to launch an orchestration or to launch a notification. Other enhancements, uh, bringing in data in addition to JSON format, now we've enabled CSV format. So if you have data in spreadsheets, it makes it much easier to get that into the orchestrator. We've enhanced some of our error monitoring capability in terms of you have multiple step orchestrations. Also, we've enhanced our monitoring capabilities. So if you're using orchestrations and you're doing much more automation, the question becomes, how do you know if your orchestrations are executing properly? So now we have a health check or a monitor status. In the area of notifications, now you may be familiar with on a, a, a form, we have a bell and with the open up the bell, we show our notifications. Well, we've now simplified that, made it much more like an email client. So we have a notification message center where I can go in, see all my notifications, I can sort, I can search, filter, do mass deletes, things that you would be uh, very familiar with in operating on email. In the area of form personalization, previously we've enabled the capability on inquiry apps to take different columns that were in the business view but not delivered on the application to present those on the application. It's all part of personalization. Now we're extending that beyond inquiry apps in update three to be entry apps or power browse forms. Moving on to user-defined objects, a key component of UX1. We've enabled it to make it easier for system administrators or business analysts to work with user-defined objects to make that more manageable. So now if we have, say, composite pages and we have multiple different user-defined objects, such as watch list or analytics on those pages, and you wish to copy a page and see everything that we've delivered, makes it much easier to we'll show you those dependencies on pages as well as Cafe One. And we've also made it easier to view security, security by given you do objects on a form or by users that need to access those different forms. In the area of protecting your investment, with 9.2 Update 3, we've enabled 64-bit processing. So as Oracle or other third-party companies move beyond 32-bit processing, you now are future proof JD Edwards to really support 64-bit on the enterprise server. And look for a separate video on, uh, on more on 64-bit processing coming shortly. And lastly, a very key certification for us with 9.2 Update 3 is we're now certified with Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. To learn more on these enhancements, please go to learnjde.com on the announcement page. And thank you very much for your time today.